It's way too early in the morning for this shit. This content is intended for ages 13 plus only. If you are younger than 13, please do not watch this content. What's good, YouTube? What's happening? Hope everybody's having a great day. It's the one and only Dita Toy Hunter here. And we are out back on the hunt looking for the latest and greatest in wrestling figures. Of course, if you're new and you like what I do and you like wrestling, go ahead and super kick that subscribe button and be sure to like, comment, and share it and join me on my road to 1K. Uh, right now, we are making a pit stop. When I say we, I am, of course, joined by Old Man Pops because he had to go to the bathroom. But it is what it is. Uh, we're going to hit a few targets today, and we're also hitting a toy show. Uh, from what I understand, Series 88, 89, and 90 of the Elites have started to hit stores. So we're going to check in a few targets today to see if we can find those. Also, we're going to be looking for uh, Elite Series 12 of the Legends because I want that Junkyard Dog Chase, and I want that Kevin Nash. So, uh... That's what we're on the look for today. And uh, I see I want to get to the toy show. All right, y'all, we're here at the toy show. Uh, I'm going to take y'all around and show off some stuff. So uh, I'll see y'all in a second. Okay, I didn't know this existed. <laughs> This was a super limited run. I did not know this existed. We also have a G.I. Joe Hall of Fame Duke right here. And like, kind of still in the box. The box has been through some things, but that is really, really dope. We got some Walking Dead figures. We got some Marvel Legends. We got a Tron Chase. I know everybody's no, no going. Pizza, no, no, <laughs> no, you good, bro. <laughs> I know everybody's going nuts over this right now. Oh yeah. How you doing, man? You doing all right. Spider Man, it just drops. Got some Star Wars stuff. And it's here. Mm. Yeah, you, you got gypped. No. <laughs> He bought, he, he Some Fruit Ninja bought, stuff. Yeah. Got some loose wrestling figures over here. Alright. Some Lucy goodness. Mm -hmm. Did find some wrestling figures, but it's mostly <clears throat> stuff that I already own. Comma, Rhea Ripley, Ronda Rousey, which I already have. I remember when this dropped. This just dropped. Look at this bad boy. We got the Black Light Hulk from uh, Ragnarok. Got some more Funkos over here. My homeboy I work with, John. Shout out to him. He would. 
killed for all of these Hot Wheels right here. Because he's a huge Hot Wheels collector. But we're going to keep going to keep it pushing, keep walking through the con, see what else we can find. We'll see y'all in a minute. This is just the first pass through, and I think I have stumbled upon some gold. I have stumbled upon some gold. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're ready to ride. We've got Moon Knight. We've got Paige. We've got a defining moment, Steve Austin, that I've never seen. We've got Kamala. We've got Warrior. We've got Terry Funk. And we've got Bam Bam. But the possibly biggest one of them all is this bad boy right here. We have an autographed set of the Four Horsemen. Holy shit. 400 bucks. Dude. Yeah, but I, do I really want to drop 400 right now? <laughs> We're going to come back to that. We're definitely going to come back to that. We've got the first ever rock figure. That's when he was rocking my man. Yeah. <laughs> the blue chipper. Yep. Yeah. yeah, the blue chipper. Yeah. I remember when he came to Memphis. He was working them when they were booing them, and he like, yeah, yeah. I saw, yeah. You know, he had a magic wand for the whole night. That was at the time that everyone hated him. Yeah. And me and my friend were in the front row. He had, this is before he had shirts, so he had these airbrush shirts made. And the whole match, Rock just kept staring over us. Yeah. And Glenn missed the eye. Well, after the match, we were going to our car, and this Cadillac slowly pulls up, and it's Dwayne driving. He's like, how much you want for the shirt? I'm freaking out. I'm like, dude, oh my God. I said, man, I tell you what, if you sign a couple figures for me, I'll give it to you. He's like, you got it. And about that time, all the a holes that were booing and spitting on them, here they come. We're marking out. Running, marking out, running, running at him. He's it, like, yeah. dude, I'm sorry, I got to go. And he had to leave and shit in my hand. I'm like, Thanks a lot. Oh, I was, oh, my girlfriend was like, dude, I'm surprised you didn't get hit your ass. And he said, you were. I was like, dude. People just ruined my opportunity to meet my. The muscles boy. wrestling is cool, right? A lot of wrestling like, fans get ruined. Oh that. my god, I'm so mad. Do you remember the period, man? Where uh, oh, y'all just lost your main event because I'm right next to it. All right, y'all, we have a dilemma. Um, I've settled on Terry Funk, this ultimate warrior, and possibly this defining moment, Steve Austin. But I don't know if the guy does PayPal card, so I... But we, we found three figures that we're going to drop an insane amount of money on. So I'll let y'all know if something good comes out of this. But then again, Old Man Pops was telling me to get this autograph for Horseman set for 400 I don't know. Some decisions are about to be made. Do we do the autograph four horsemen set or do we do the Terry Funk Ultimate Warrior Austin? Set? That was my first purchase of the day, and I gotta give a huge shout out to my man Casey Jones for hooking me up. Man, and he had some hella cool stuff on the table, but uh. 
I, I, I just, I think I'm done here at the toy show, but uh, we're going to walk around a little bit more. I'm going to uh, catch up with some more of the homies, and uh, after there, we're going to hit targets, and yeah, but so far, off to a good start. All right. We're here in the wrestling aisle and we're going to pick up. Well, actually, we're not going to pick up that Roddy Piper because that box is damaged. But we're going to pick this Roddy Piper up. Yeah! And. What else? Yeah. I, I found one. And that looks like everything from that wave. We've got a bunch of Colonel Mustafa's spray. Um, yeah. A Piper for the win. I wasn't gonna pay 30 bucks for it at the con. No. So. Skeleton God, Faker. Trips, but we have spot spotted series 12 of the uh, legends. Let's go check out the Marvel Legends. Of course, Steppenwolf. We also got the Demon, we got Shrek Unmasked. We got Batman on mass, King Shazam, Cabal kind of hanging out on the pigs. <laughs> uh, got some Transformer stuff, Transformer statues. And I just, ooh. They are stocked on Eternals. <clears throat> got the entire Eternals wave. We got the Hydra Stomper right here just chilling. I'm not paying that price. Scan it and see if it's on sale. It, it, no, that's the retail. Sure? Pretty sure. Scan it, Scan it. He'll be back. <laughs> he will be back soon. But, uh, they are stocked on Eternals right here. So, check your Walmart show. But we're going to leave with Piper. All right, then we'll start here in the uh, Marvel section. And again, another target full of uh, the Eternals. Um, we got Tango Warrior from the Power Rangers. Got some dinosaurs from Jurassic Park. Just <coughs> <coughs> Yeah, it ain't the chase, but I will, will definitely so you consider need to find a better box. Yeah. Mostly Piper there. Pipers. I know you're looking for junkyard. They have one at uh, 
But I will take this mirror. Good find, Mike. Yeah! And we had an ultimate John Cena. Mostly just the uh, top picks, but we found Miro, and I will take that. We did find a junkyard dog, but the box has been has a little bit of box damage. But uh, successful. Go down the toy out a little bit more. Um, there's Skeletor God, Mossman, Evil Man, Skeletor, all from Wave One of Revelations. This is. I actually don't see any of the bronze with missing heads. It's actually been a first today. But let's go across the way, see what they got in the Funko Necker section. And uh, I will call this a successful journey to this target. And from what it looks like, I already see something. Everyone knows I am a hip hop fan. So we got these Super 7 reaction figures of Run. Run DMC, which there's Run and DMC. But I wonder if there's a Jam Master J. I'll have to look into that. From a Funko standpoint, it don't look like it's too much. Not a lot. There's the uh, Batcave playset. There's the Batmobile, which we're starting. I've seen that. They, um, <laughs> this Violator is freaking awesome. But uh, doesn't look like too much. We got Raven Spawn up here. Shao Kahn, Cabal. Got some uh, thing from Avatar statues, which those actually look pretty cool. The homie Toy Man would like that, and that's really about it. The Ninja Turtles Cobra Kai set. <laughs> That voice, of course, America is the, the man, the homie, Michael. Every time we come to Memphis, we always got to hang out with that guy. Some model kits. But overall, not really too much of this target. Other than the mural that I'm picking up. And those like run DMC reaction figures, it's not too much. But uh we'll see y'all at the next stop, y'all. Alright. We got Keith Lee. We got Bailey. We've got another Keith Lee. Not well. I may. This is all part of that wave, which, shout out to the homie Keith Lee. I hope he lands back on his feet soon because he deserves better than what WWE gave him. So a huge shout out to him. Um, 
the usual small two uh, LeBrons with heads, which I think that trend has kind of stopped. Uh, there's some Jurassic Park, there's Mirrorverse. Here, Demon, Joker, Steppenwolf, and a ton of Dana. Matter of fact, since we don't. Come out. It, it recently, it was just sitting over there. This is the one that I kind of wanted, but if he needs it, I'll give it to him. Yeah, I, I don't I, have money for it, but well, well, show him. Yeah. It's it's good to see the Survivor Series stuff on the shelf. So, um, as a tribute to my man Keith Lee. We're definitely gonna pick this up. Yeah! Let's let's go check out the uh, let's go back here and let's go check out the uh, Neca Funko section. Like I say, it's good to see some. The Survivor Series Elite starting to hit stores. Let's go check out the Nicka Funko section, see what they got. We got a Trash Suicide Squad cap right here. And we have a pop section that's been ransacked. And it looks like a whole lot of nothing. Um, mostly just stuff I've already seen today. Gorilla Gourd. Uh, we got some, some Seinfeld stuff. We got a Raven Spawn. The new Stranger Things figures. Uh, King Kong. I, actually, this King Kong has, has been out for a while, but not too much here at this Target. But we are going to leave with a Survivor Series Keith Lee Elite. And again, shout out to my man Keith Lee. I hope you land a job with whatever wrestling company real, real soon, you and your wife. I wish you guys nothing but the best. Diesel. Uh, Drew McIntyre. Derek Henry. Wow. He just got hurt, so I'm not gonna turn him upside down. Is it Ian Malcolm? We found a Matt Hardy just chilling. Uh, that's really about it. So to appease the fit gods, let's put this back where it belongs. <laughs> Okay, amazing. <sighs> I'm at Hardy's back where he belongs. Wonderful. Later that same evening. Oh my God! Jeez! Jesus Christ! <laughs> What's wrong, 
okay? When I came down. <laughs> we just gonna jump right into the reviews because it has been a long day. When I say it's been a long day, I've been at it since. I've been up since 5.30 this morning. Been on the road since 7, 7 o'clock this morning. And I'm just not getting home. And it's 9.30. So we're just going to get right into it. Uh, first stop on the hunt was the Bartlett Toy Show. Now, the Bartlett Toy, Sh Toy Show, uh, unexpected event in Bartlett, Tennessee, that uh, me and Old Man Bob decided to attend today. Because um, <clears throat> it was, it was you know, the first time we'd been to a toy show in a while. And it was the first time we hung out in like probably about two or three weeks since the last hunt video we did which I'll leave somewhere up here. But today, today I spent a lot of money. Matter of fact, I spent over $230 in 30 minutes because fire from, from the wrestling toy gods decided to, to hit me. It, it, it hit me hard. So, while I was at this toy show, I was able to first pick up this Defining Moments Stone Cold Steve Austin. And yes, that's the price tag. Which is a really, really cool figure. I'm doing my best to find some of the Defining Moments figures at reasonable prices. So I'm trying to collect as many as those as I can. And I thought this was a really, really, really reasonable price. So I had to pick this up. And it comes with not only the Winged Eagle Championship, not only the the other WWF Championship, but comes with the Smoke and Skull Ball. So a really, really cool figure that came out in 2015. I believe this is one of the the very last ones that they that they did. Because the uh Defining Moment series was a limited run. It was a very, very limited run. I think it was like maybe a two or three year run, but this was like one of the, the last few that came that they came out with. So, I had to get this. And this is all at one booth, what I'm showing. Next, um, a figure that came out in 2016 that I, I had to get, and especially at the price that it was, we got this Ultimate Warrior from Series, uh, this is from the, fla the Flashback really 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 dope figure this is his wrestlemania 6 attire again you're, you're, that's the price you're seeing but again really really dope figure i knew about this figure and i had seen it but i never fought to get it because i was a dummy but i i just i had to get this figure because it's dope the last figure is a figure that it, it doesn't do itself justice. We have ECW toy, and yes, that's the price because that's what it's worth. No word. Prices lower than what I got them for. Pick them up. Next, uh, we hit about four targets today. No, five targets today. So we're three for five at Target. Not a bad percentage. But the first target that we were at today, we ended up getting from Unmatched Series 1. We got Miro. Really dope figure. Um, I'm doing my best to get as many. Because I've already got the LJN Cody, I've already got Darby, I've already got Britt Baker, and now Miro, so I'm, I'm missing Dustin and uh, Kenny, which the Kenny I'm kind of going to pass on. I just want Dustin, and I'll, I'll be okay with that, but again, a really dope figure. Uh, the first Miro figure that they've done, and 
I think they I think they did a really good job with it. It's a nice face scan. Comes with you know a set of hands and a mic. So really cool figure. If you see it in Target, Walmart, wherever, make sure you pick it up. Next, we hit the second Target of the day, and uh, <clears throat> from Elite uh, Legends uh, Series 12, we were able to pick up Roddy Piper. Now, the funny thing about this is uh, I seen it at the toy show. It was 30 bucks. I'd rather pay retail for it. 21 so you do the math. But again, a really dope figure. This is um, from when uh, he came back and won the Intercontinental title. This is what this attire is based on. Shockingly, today, I didn't find a Billy Gunn. I didn't find a Kevin Nash. I did find a Junkyard Dog. It was a common, but the box was shredded. So, we'll definitely be on the lookout for the other three in this series, but I had to pick up Piper. I'm a huge Piper fan. Uh, if you see it on Target, make sure you pick it up. The final stop of the day, of course, another Target. This is the first three Targets that we hit today. They're all in succession. Um, was able to find some of the uh, Survivor Series elites, and I was able to pick up Keith Lee. Uh, really dope. This attire is based on uh, his appearance for uh, the uh, Survivor Series of 2019. Dope figure. Dope figure. And considering the fact, the recent events of everything that has happened to Keith Lee, um, again, huge shout out to him to his wife being the I hope wherever they go to next, um, they shine. I, I want them both to shine. Uh, and trust me when I say I'll be on a whole rant about that tomorrow on the Dangerous Jumpers podcast. But um, I had to get this because this is the final Keith Lee figure that they uh, they do. And this was a must. Of course, got to look for Hulk Hogan. Got to look for Bret Hart. I did see the Bailey figure today, which was a really cool was a really cool figure, but I passed on it. So, again, check your Walmart, check your Targets, because the Survivor Series WWE leads the first target stores. So, here's a quick recap of all of the damage I did today. Of course, we got the ECW Terry Funk. We've got the WrestleMania 6 Ultimate Warrior. And we've got the Austin with the three championships from the Defining Moment Series. Three really cool figures. We were also able to pick up the Survivor Series, Keith Lee, the Elite Legends 12, Roddy Piper, and of course the Series 1 Unmatch, Miro. Not too bad of a haul today. A lot of damage done. And those are my reviews. Again, I've been up since 5.30. It is now almost 10 o'clock. I'm tired. I ain't got nothing else to say because I'm, I'm done. I'm, I'm, I've checked out. So, again, if you're new to the channel, like what I said, go ahead and super keep that subscribe button. Be sure to like, comment, and share. Hit that bell notification for upcoming content. And join me on my road to 1K. Remember to be blessed. Be good to your fellow man. Stay safe out there. Try to find happiness in this crazy world. I'll see you on the next one.